So go back to go to YouTube. And I'm gonna throw this link in. Um, I'm gonna throw this. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna wait a second because I'm gonna post this link. I just walk them through it and then show them. Just hang on a second. You want to just go through it, through, uh, and then I'll come back and demonstrate. Sweet. Let's wait till we get a couple of viewers here. Hang on. And then I'm gonna, are we going to go over to the heavy chain in a minute too? That's where uh, Sam and Bo are, so you can just switch to them. Did they jump back on? Hang on, give me one second. I just had to post links. Gotcha. Oh, this is awesome, dude. Give me one second. Let me just pull up my phone here. Terry Smith says, looks and sounds good. Okay, here we go. All righty. So we are up and running here. If you want to explain to folks which uh, obstacle you're at and what it's about and all that fun stuff. All right, this is the Savage Rig here in Savage, Florida. This is our second to last obstacle. It's going to be really challenging and there's a few very specific rules that I wanted to point out. Feet are allowed on pipes. So this one, this one, and ropes. We have two different types of ropes. We have rope ladders and vertical rope. Feet are allowed on pipes and ropes only. There's no feet allowed on rings, regular handholds, or the blue cheese walls. No feet on these. Also, as you approach the rig, the three, or I'm sorry, the six lanes on the left will be your male side. The three lanes on the right will be your female side. You'll be able to tell the difference. All right, so here's a short demonstration. As you approach, you are allowed to kind of climb around on the pole. You can use your legs, hands, whatever. Step on this. Please don't use the truss for support. If you bump into it, you'll be fine. This is the important part. When you come out here, don't think about hooking your foot in. Hands only. Same thing when you get to here. When you get to this rope, Come all the way through. You are allowed to use your feet on this. All lanes. When you get down to the end, there's another rope. You can use this rope however you want. Hands and feet. There's a high bell at the end. Female lane. Same thing. After you get to this rope ladder, a short climb to a very high bell. So that should cover it. Just make sure you're paying attention as you approach the obstacle and you should have no problems. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's different with the men and women's side? Uh, well, the hard part, the crux of the route is the same, um, but the easier part is slightly different, whereas the men's side has a bit of a, a little more endurance aspect to it. The female side will bring you with a climb to the bell. Okay. Do we, do we want to check out uh, Acres Away? Or what? I'm sorry, what's it called? Yank my chain if you no. want to uh, slide over to uh, Sam and Bo. They're over there. Okay. Let's do this. Watch this magical trick. Watch out now. Hey, guys. This is Sam. Hey, one thing I was just listening to Lee talk about the radio. One thing I think it's important to note is that the way that opportunity right now is for the pros. But after the pro wave, uh, Lee's going to make some modifications to make it uh, to make the obstacle a little less advanced for the open waves. Um, so the way that he just demonstrated it, that's strictly for pro, and uh, it will be modified some for the open waves. Okay. Uh, but here we are at, at a new obstacle. This one's called Yank My Chain. This obstacle is not going to be on the pro. Uh, 
we've learned the hard way a couple times in the past that when you debut a brand new obstacle for the pros, that's just a, a good way to burn yourself. And so um, we're only going to have this one open for the open waves. However, we do really want the pros to come over afterwards and test it out, give us feedback. Um, eventually, this will be an obstacle that's in the pro wave, but we just didn't want its very first time on a course to be, uh, you know, when people are competing for money and things like that. So, but here we are. Um, the cool thing, I mean, I know a lot of people have seen hoisting obstacles before, but the, the really fun and unique twist on this one is that it's a heavy chain. So when you start it, it's, it's fairly easy in the beginning, but every foot adds, uh, I think, like nine pounds. This chain's like nine pounds a foot. So, so if you observe, like, as you pull up, like, okay, that's easy, right? That's only 10 pounds of chain. The higher it gets, the heavier it gets. And once you get it all the way off the ground like that, now I've got 110 pounds of uh, chain in the air. So, um, you know, I, I said we're not going to have this for the pro rule for the pros, but uh, the rules that we're thinking about, and the, the rules are still sort of a design and progress for the pros. We want them to lift this thing all the way to the top so that knot touches the pulley like this. So it stops. So that would be a completion. Um, we ask you not to drop the chain um, just because that's a lot of energy and force coming down at once. We want you to lower it down like this. Um, in a controlled way. So lower the chain in a controlled way. Now, uh, tentatively, the, the, the rules for females are that they need to hoist it until the chain is completely off the ground. So that would look like this. That's a completion for females. After they lower the chain in a controlled way, like that. Now, I'm very strong, so this is uh, <laughs> to look a lot easier than it really is. Um, but we really want to get a lot of people over here. Like I said, for the pros anyway, those rules are not set in stone. We want to get some ex some experienced people over here testing it so that we can see. Um, one thing you can do, especially for some of the smaller people, um, you know, if you weigh less than 110 pounds, there's no way to lift this thing off the ground without using this as leverage. So it's... I didn't do it in my demonstration, but it's totally okay to lay down on the ground and put your feet up on this bar to give yourself extra leverage with which to pull the chain up. Can you jump on the bar? Jump on it? Like, I mean, you can get up there, I guess. It's not going to give you an advantage. But you, here's here's one I'm thing. If you're, if you're a small person, I'm saying, right? Yeah, I... You I can push so. off. You can push off. You can use that bar, Matt. Is that what you're asking? Really that you're more, you're gonna be doing more like this. That's what I mean. A really small person is yes, gonna like yes. is gonna stand on the bar and jump down. No, it, it'd be better to do this. But I'm asking for a clarification of a rule, not what's better. I'm asking for a clarification of the rule so people know. You can you you could stand on it and jump back if you want. Feet are allowed. Well, I think that's I think that's easy to do because if you stand on it, that could put you in a position where you can actually fall into the uh, danger zone there. All right, so this, will, so this won't be a pro. Way. This won't be a pro wave. It'll be the regular wave, um, and then you'll get feedback after the weekend. Yeah, okay, exactly. Yeah. We'll have it. See, the thing is, when we open it on an open wave, we can kind of adjust it on the spot. We should do that then. All right, and I just so you guys know, so I can mute Sam here because it's getting too windy. Or actually, that's you, Lloyd. Uh, and then it's better because then Ryan and I can talk over you guys. Then I can unmute you just as easily there. So, do you guys want to? Do you guys want to show anything else to the to the people before we go off the live part? No, I think a big part of this is this is what the coverage is going to be during the pro wave tomorrow. Make sure you look for a link. We'll. Uh, obviously share that in the morning but matt you're gonna fire it up around 7 15 ish or so the first yeah. wave will head out at like 7 30 so anyone that is not joining us in person which you should be this will be uh your way to stay in touch and see what all is happening how many how many, how many men per wave in the in the morning um the first pro wave each each wave's capped at 50 i believe 
Okay. Um, so the so all the fast guys will be able to go out together, basically. Correct. Because there's only I think there's I think there's 150 men registered, right? So we'll have the males go off at 7:30, and then the top females will go off at 7:35, right after them. Right. And then yeah. we'll fill in we'll the rest of the age group, kind of males. So there was a survey sent out. They've been placed. If there's any any reason they think they should be in that very first wave for the male or female, they need to come let us know. And what if I've got a great treadmill 5K? Should I be in that first wave? Definitely not. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop off live here. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. See you guys. Uh, okay.